Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today we're going to be talking about the Market Cycle Return on Investment, or ROI, of Bitcoin. So if you guys like this content, please subscribe to the channel. And if you want to jump in further with a community of 2,200 people and talk about these charts, then check out this Telegram channel in the description below. We also have a Discord channel for those who prefer Discord. So let's go ahead and jump in here. So this chart was made several months ago. And we talked about if we were to measure the return on investment from each market cycle bottom, assuming we had three previous cycles, um, you know, the first cycle would have looked like this, the ROI for market cycle bottom. The second cycle would have been the orange line. The third cycle would have been the yellow line. And the third cycle would have been from uh, 2015 until the end of 2017. Now, the question is, you know, is Bitcoin still on course? Now, if you were to look at the market cycle ROI from a theoretical market cycle bottom of $3,100 back in December of 2018, then the last chart I previously posted a couple months ago looked like this. And we said that, you know, if we were to mimic past mathematical trends, that we would expect the ROI from market cycle bottom for a hypothetical fourth bull run and fourth market cycle to potentially peak out at around 30x or so. Um, maybe between 30 to 40x, which would get Bitcoin the price. If you take 3100 as your base and you say multiply out by 30 to 40x, it essentially gets you around six figures. So this is the idea. And we also prescribed, the, we've also prescribed, as you can see here, that uh, lengthening cycles are the name of the game. And you can see it fairly evidently from, from the length it takes to get to each peak. In the first market cycle, it took, um, you know, maybe 250 days or so to get to the peak. In the second market cycle, it took um, 700, somewhere between 700 to 800 days. In the third market cycle, it took around maybe a, a 10, a 1,050 days or so. And so we expected that the next market cycle peak would take place um, further further out from the market cycle bottom in December of 2018. And, and the reason we said this is because, you know, the evidence shows that we're, we're seeing not only diminishing returns, but we're seeing lengthening cycles. And some people would like to argue that potentially that this blue line and the orange line are part of the same cycle, which means that the ROI would, you know, go all the way up to like 10 to the fourth or, or something. And then the next one will be um, 10 squared, so 100x. Um, but I don't really necessarily think this is true. I don't think that this was a single cycle over four years. I think they're separate cycles. Obviously, you can um, we can argue or talk about that in the comments below or in the Telegram channel as well. But we are prescribing to the lengthening cycle theory, um, and uh, at least I am. And I, I think that that's what we're on track for, to see a peak not in December of 2021, but in 2022, 2023, you know, potentially even 2024. But I would say, you know, sometime in 2023, plus or minus six months or so is probably a fair, um, uh, a fair time uncertainty or, or so. And, and, you know, some people argue, well, how does this work in with having? Well, the point is, is, you know, the havings are, I think eventually we're going to have more than one having per market cycle as we see diminishing returns, reduced macro level volatility, so volatility over the macro scale, so over years I think we're going to see that reduced, and ultimately um, the lengthening cycles I think will will play out, and it's just a matter of how the, the nature at which they are, are going to lengthen, how, you know, is, is this cycle going to be a 2022 peak, is it going to be a 2023 peak? Um, and if you and if you prescribe to that, then that means the next cycle might not peak until 2030. So this is an opportunity, um, potentially right now. Not that this is financial advice, but this is an opportunity now to accumulate more and more Bitcoin. Now, what has happened? So if we were to update the chart, this is what's happened. And we, you know, we thought that it wouldn't continue on that trend. Um, because if you look back here, we did not think that we were going to stay above this trend because each time the curves have gotten flatter and flatter. So we were expecting this to, to come down here somewhere. 
and you can see that it has, we, we have come below it. And for me, I would either expect, you know, I mean, I, I can't really say what's going to happen in the short term, but more or less, we're going to be looking for something like that. Um, so if we, if we put our target on there, let's say our target is, is somewhere out of here, and we say that our, our, our goal is to get to, say, between a, a 30 to 40x, I just drew this one at 30x, um, then this is, you know, this is where it would correspond to, so we can continue to see the peaks diminishing. Note, this is daily data. It does not account for wicks, so it might not be entirely 100% um, accurate if you go down to the exact dollar that Bitcoin reached on some exchange on that day, but it's the daily data. Um, <clears throat> and then, now, the, the thing is, is how do we get to this point? And we have several options, you know, maybe we'll do something like that and we'll get there earlier rather than later. And this would correspond to, I think, around the end of 2022 or so. Um, maybe it'll take a little bit longer and maybe it'll be sometime in middle 2023. Maybe it'll be even longer than that and, and take us out till, till 2024. But the point is, is, you know, as far as I can tell, Bitcoin is still on course for this, um, you know, for, for this idea that we're seeing lengthening cycles and that we're seeing diminishing returns. And, and I, I, I don't think we're going to increase at the same rates that we have in previous cycles. Ultimately, it's going to be a more long and drawn out process. Um, that, that, you know, that's what I would at least think. And people have often asked me, are we going to hit $20,000 in 2019 or 2020? And I've said no. Even if you prescribe to the four-year cycle theory, then we probably wouldn't hit it until 2021. And you know, I because I prescribe more to lengthening cycles, I could even see, I, could, I would even suspect that it might even be later 2021, um, maybe even 2022 before we even get back to twenty thousand dollars. So it's, you know, it's turning into a longer game, and the people that are able to stay disciplined and not worry about short-term price movements, but see them as an opportunity to get into the market at a lower risk level, and we also cover the risks on other videos, if you can see it as an opportunity, then when, it, when we're out in 2022, 2023, 2024, you're going to be able to look back at, you know, 2019 and 2020 and saw that, you know what, maybe I bought Bitcoin here, maybe I bought it here, maybe I bought it here, but I did what I could, I accumulated as much as I could before we saw a, you know, a, a potential bull run. So that's where I'm standing. Obviously, there's no guarantees there's going to be another bull run. There's no guarantees of anything. But, you know, if you do believe in Bitcoin and believe that it's the future and, and believe that these trends are going to continue repeating, then we're still, we're still on course. Um, now, there is obviously a uncertainty here. I can't say, obviously, that these lines are going to play out exactly. Um, it's possible that, you know, we're in some range of uncertainty of the price. I mean, we could continue to go down from here. We could go up from here. Um, but ultimately, I would expect something like that to play out. Now, there is a counter argument. So essentially, we're always hedging our bets because we don't, you know, no one actually knows what's going to happen. But let's say we're still in the third cycle. What does that mean? Well, if we're still in the third cycle, then this means that we maybe haven't hit a market cycle bottom. If we haven't hit a market cycle bottom, then we're going to go below 3100 sometime in the future. And we, in the prior video, we talked about this possibility. Um, so, it, you know, it's not hard to imagine if, if Bitcoin were to go to, say, $3,000, then we would have a low, maybe potentially somewhere out here. Um, in which case, the fourth market cycle, so let's say the low does something like this, or the, the price action does something like this, then maybe the fourth market cycle hasn't even started yet. And it's going to be another four years from now, putting it out maybe in 2024. Um, so this is always a possibility. Uh, you know, it's... I think it's fairly obvious that there has been at least some correlation recently with, you know, the global pandemic and um, and, and the prices of cryptocurrencies. I mean, losing 50% in one day is is fairly, um, uh, I mean, I can't, I can't say it's completely unprecedented, but it's not something that typically happens. Um, so, you know, and, and people do tend to liquidate high-risk assets during, during a, a recession or a bear market just because they need to be able to pay the rent, they need to be able to buy food. Um, and, and a lot of times Bitcoin is, is not going to be what they're going to be focused on. Um, so, you know, even if we were to jump further, 
it's you know it's not I don't think it's necessarily the end of the world it might just mean that we're, we're kicking the can down the road and obviously Bitcoin has not previously lived through a recession so there is some unknowns there as to as to how that would play out you know maybe the next if, if we do see a new low um, you know at say 30 or three thousand dollars then maybe the next peak will you know I mean it, it could come up and peak at 1200 days or, or something we don't know the point is 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 if you prescribe to the lengthening cycle theory, either you know either this is probably correct, or I think you know something like this is right, where we are in the fourth cycle, and we're just you know we're we're still just playing in the sandbox for the next couple of years before you're really going to see things pick up, and hopefully that would also correspond with a recovering macro you know economy, a global economy that is is recovering from uh, you know this this pandemic. And, and if we can get through the pandemic, then obviously there's going to be a lot of small businesses that have gone out of business or racked up a lot of debt. They're going to be trying to get back on their feet. And hopefully, hopefully people will start to see Bitcoin more for what it is um, as, a, as a hedge against, you know, inflation, hyperinflation, central control of your money. Normally you would think of cash as a, as a safe haven during times like this. And it usually cash is king. But at the same time, if, if the U.S. government... Or whoever it might be is printing, you know, printing trillions and trillions of dollars um, for whatever currency it is. You know, it's it's going to further, it's likely going to further devalue um, your hedge of cash. So take that into consideration. Um, now, if you if you guys like this content and you want to see more of it, um, again, check out the Telegram channel, subscribe to the YouTube channel so that you can stay up to date with videos. We post them almost daily. Um, and then also, if you want more content. Uh, we have exclusive content here at patreon.com slash into the cryptoverse. So if you go to that link, you'll find um, different tiers. We have in-depth research reports, patron-only chat room on Telegram, uh, and Discord, actually. We give frequent, frequent updates, like risk updates, like what is the risk and how can you lower your overall risk. And then we also have field requests for new videos um, for these people. So if you, if you want to check that out... Um, the lowest tier is just $30 a month. The next one is $50 a month. Uh, we're going to be releasing altcoin letters in, in about a week. And it's going to go through different types of optimization techniques for how you manage your portfolio. Um, it's going to look different from prior reports because it's going to be just a, um, a long uh, presentation, basically, that has so many different graphs. So if you guys want to check that out, then check out the patreon.com slash into the cryptoverse uh, site and um, I'd be happy to have you and if you if you don't want to pay with fiat or whatever then just contact me um, through my website which is into the cryptoverse.com or contact me on telegram through the telegram group and you can also pay with crypto if you would prefer to do that um, but I hope this has been informative to everyone I think Bitcoin is still on course it's just we're giving ourselves time where we're going to continue to accumulate Bitcoin. And I think the disciplined investor and the person who, who stays focused for the next several years, those are going to be the true winners. There's going to be some people that come in really, really late in the game and maybe they can squeeze out a few bucks. But remember, bull markets can make you money, bear markets can make you rich. And with that, I will, I will go ahead and wrap it up and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.